नमस्कार टॉपाई टॉप पर टॉक शो में आप सभी का स्वागत है आज के एपिसोड में हम जिस रेट्रो स्टार के बारे में बात करेंगे उनके बारे में एक फिल्म एडिटर ने कहा था देर इज नो प्लेस इन दिल्स फॉर अनकाउट ब्राउनी पठान्स हु थिंक दे कैन मेक इट एज एक्टर्स जवाब में हमारे रेट्रो स्टार ने कहा था डू नॉट प्रोवोक दिस पठान If there is no place for me in the films, Indian films, I shall swim across the seven seas to Hollywood and make it there as an actor. इतने मजबूत इरादों वाला शख्स शहंशाह अकबर के सिवा कौन हो सकता है? मैं इतिहास के अकबर की बात नहीं कर रही हूँ, मैं तो हमारे फिल्मी अकबर की बात कर रही हूँ, जिन्हें आप 1960 की दिलीप मधुबाला स्टारर मुगले आजम के शहंशाह अकबर के रूप में जानते हैं। तुम्हारे काबिल नहीं यो नहीं एक लाडले बेटे के बाप बनकर मुझे अपने कलेजे से लगा लीजिए और उन्हीं प्यार भरी नजरों से देखिए जिनसे पहली बार आपने मुझे देखा था मुझे हिंदुस्तान का शहजादा नहीं अपना बेटा समझिए और फिर कहिए कि अनारकली मेरे काबिल नहीं हम एक लाडले बेटे के शफी बाप जरूर है मगर हम शहनशाह के फर्श को नजरअंदाज नहीं कर सकते हम अपने बेटे के धड़कते हुए दिल के लिए हिंदुस्तान की तकदीर नहीं बदल सकते तकदीरें बदल जाती हैं, जमाना बदल जाता है मुल्कों की तारीख बदल जाती है शहनशाह बदल जाते हैं मगर इस बदलती हुई दुनिया में मोहब्बत जिस इंसान का दामन थाम लेती है वो इंसान नहीं बदलता मगर तुझे बदलना होगा सलीम तुझे बदलना होगा राज कपूर का जन्म 1906 में पंजाब के लयालपुर शहर में हुआ जो अब पाकिस्तान में है एक्टर बनने से पहले इनकी जिंदगी में कई मोड़ आए 18 साल की उम्र में शादी हो गई एक्टर बनना चाहते थे लेकिन तैयारी लॉयर बनने की कर रहे थे लेकिन जैसा कि कहावत है अगर आप में एक्टिंग का कीड़ा है तो वो ज्यादा देर दबा नहीं रह सकता आखिरकार पृथ्वीराज भी सब छोड़ छाड़ चले आए खाबों की नगरी मुंबई मुंबई आकर इन्होंने इम्पीरियल फिल्म कंपनी ज्वाइन की और साइलेंट फिल्मों में काम शुरू किया हम और आप इन्हें बड़ी उम्र के कैरेक्टर आर्टिस्ट के रूप में जानते हैं लेकिन आप यूट्यूब पे जाइए और इनकी सिनेमा गर्ल मूवी देखिए यकीन मानिए आप इनकी यंग डैशिंग पर्सनालिटी देखकर हैरान हो जाएंगे एट दैट टाइम ही वॉज अ रियल हार्ट थ्रॉप एंड ही यूज टू प्ले लीड हीरो ये तो आप जानते हैं शुरुआत में फिल्मों में साउंड नहीं होता था आरा मारा से बोलती फिल्मों का दौर शुरू हुआ जिसे टॉकीज एरा कहते हैं पृथ्वीराज कपूर उन एक्ट्रेस में से हैं जिन्होंने साइलेंट मूवीज और टॉकीज दोनों में काम किया टॉकीज के टाइम में 1940 में पृथ्वीराज कपूर की एक फिल्म आई जिसमें अपनी बेमिसाल एक्टिंग से इन्होंने पूरी इंडस्ट्री को हिला दिया फिल्म का नाम था पागल इसमें इन्होंने एक वहशी साइकाइट्रिस्ट का रोल प्ले किया था जो अपनी मेडिकल नॉलेज का गलत इस्तेमाल करता है अपनी दहशत के लिए ये नेगेटिव रोल जरूर था लेकिन इनकी परफॉर्मेंस देखने लायक थी विद हिस मैग्निफिसेंट परफॉर्मेंस ही रेस्ड द बार फॉर एक्टर्स पृथ्वी राज कपूर को एक फिल्म एक्टर के रूप में तो सब जानते हैं लेकिन ये बात बहुत कम लोगों को पता है कि उन्हें थिएटर की दुनिया से खास लगा था पहले ही दूसरे डायरेक्टर्स के थिएटर में काम किया करते थे लेकिन बाद में इन्होंने मुंबई में पृथ्वी थिएटर की शुरुआत की पृथ्वी थिएटर को स्टैब्लिश करने में इन्होंने अपना सारा धन और पूरी ताकत लगा दी लेकिन इसका फल भी उन्हें मिला उनके टाइम में पृथ्वी थिएटर इंडिया की टॉप थिएटर कंपनी में से एक था शशि कपूर ने भी पृथ्वी थिएटर को संभालने में अहम भूमिका निभाई आजकल इसका काम शशि कपूर की बेटी संजना देखती है बॉम्बे में पृथ्वी थिएटर आज भी काफी मशहूर है बॉलीवुड के कई बड़े सितारे इनके प्लेस में आज भी काम करते हैं काल का चक्र बड़ा मायावी है सिनेमा के ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट एरा में पृथ्वीराज कपूर सोहरा मोदी मोती लाल दुर्गा खोटे जैसे कई नगीने थे जिनके बारे में आज की डीजे सॉन्ग्स पसंद करने वाली जनरेशन जानना तक नहीं चाहती लेकिन अगर किसी में समय को पलट कर देखना का जज्बा हो तो वो पाएगा कि सिनेमा का ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट एरा वो छुपा हुआ खजाना है जिसे तलाश है उन मसीहों की जो उन भूली बिस्री राहों को ऐसा जगमग कर दे कि फिर कभी नई जनरेशन ना तो उस दौर के सिनेमा से कतराए 
और ना ही मेलो ड्रामा कहकर उस दौर का मजाक बनाए सोचिए सोचिए ये सच में सोचने की बात है फिलहाल इस सेगमेंट में इतना ही पृथ्वीराज कपूर को बहुत प्यार था थिएटर से जब बात ही थिएटर की चल रही है तो हमारे अगले सेगमेंट में हम आपको मिलवाते हैं एक ऐसी शख्सियत से जिनकी लाइफ को आप तीन शब्दों में बयान कर सकते हैं थिएटर थिएटर एंड थिएटर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज वेलकम द लेडी हु हैज सक्सेसफुली डिलीवर्ड मोर देन 2000 शोज ऑफ सोलो रामायणा अक्रॉस द ग्लोब प्लीज वेलकम द वन एंड ओनली जलावाला वैद्या सी नो द किंग टीम गो इन द ग्रीन ऑफ द दे शाइंस अगेन इन द ऑल स्कूल इन द मॉर्निंग लाइट सी हाउ इट स्टेज इन दिस पीस टू टू स्टेज ही कम्स टुवर्ड्स And what has happened in these thirteen years to change this bitter fact its king must face? That in our times, no philosophy that restrains at any stage a man's material wants can be the basis of successful government. Nothing has changed, except perhaps our view that what cannot be successful should not be at all. Yes, it is true. In thirteen years, I must admit this view has grown on me. Hello ma'am very warm welcome to my show I'm really honored to have you on my show Well thank you Vinita and I'm happy to welcome you to the Akshara where long ago you long ago you once a student Yes yes friends mai Akshara ki student rahi hu mai proudly keh sakti hu ki I am the product of Akshara maine yahan se acting aur anchoring dono yahi se sikhi hai aur jo bhi filhal mai anchoring kar rahi hu meri sari training ke piche meri ma'am hi hai please welcome her मैम आपसे मैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन जानना चाहूँगी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव फॉर यू इज व्हेन डिड यू फील यू हैव इंटरेस्ट इन एक्टिंग वेल इट्स नॉट रियली दैट आई फेल्ट आई हैड एन इंटरेस्ट इन एक्टिंग इट वाज दैट आई लव्ड वर्ड्स आई लव्ड पोएट्री एंड व्हेन आई वाज अ लिटिल गर्ल इन स्कूल आई लव्ड टू से द वर्ड्स व्हिच आई फेल्ट वर ब्यूटीफुल and that used to really delight the people who heard me and that is how i came to speak words so the word really is most important to me i can't say that i loved acting or that i loved theater though you said theater 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 but not that it's that i feel the words i'm speaking and because i feel it so strongly that way the people who are hearing feel it too oh uh, ma'am you have done graduation from miranda house after doing your graduation did you have any other career or goal or you were interested in performing arts only not at all i wanted to be a journalist okay. my father suresh vaidya was a journalist with time magazine in london and he was one of the 40 highly rated and acclaimed correspondents of time magazine from their london bureau so i wanted to be a journalist like him i didn't want to be an actor at all and it was because i was a journalist and therefore met my later to be my husband gopal sharma that i met him through being a journalist and it is to him that i became an actor 
your journey as an actor was smooth or was it a bumpy road? Well, no, not at all. I can't say it was a bumpy road. In fact, it was more like a fairy tale road. Okay. How was it fairy tale for you? It was a fairy tale because there were Gopal and me okay. and he was writing for the Sunday Standard and the Indian Express at the time. Very beautiful pieces. Okay. And unknown to us, the president at that time, Dr. Radha Krishnan, was a admirer of his writing which he used to read in the Sunday Standard. And he had a cataract operation. That is the president. And he asked a friend of his to please find out who was writing these beautiful pieces in the standard, um, Sunday Standard and ask him to come to Rastapati Bhavan to repeat them. So Gopal was discovered. But when Gopal learned that he wanted to be read aloud, he, Gopal, said to me, no, why don't you do it because you read so much better. And so I went to the last of Thief of them and read these pieces aloud. And as a result of that, Dr. Radhakrishnan liked them so much that he asked the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, ICCR, to please organize a public performance because he said, it should not just be read for me, it should be read for the general people. So I went and performed, we both went and performed. Gopal was a very good singer in addition to being a good writer and we performed there and we got invited to Italy and Yugoslavia okay. to come and perform there. Now this was a collection of poems and stories which we called Full Circle. That is how we travelled to Europe, okay. to first Rome and then Yugoslavia. In Yugoslavia we went to Belgrade and Zagreb and Ljubljana and therefore and then we went back to Rome. Now in Rome we performed in a very lovely theatre called the Teatro Goldoni and there as it was a fairy tale it already started because we'd already reached Yugoslavia and Rome but there we were praised to the skies by the Italian press and because of that we went all through Europe and finally ended up in London where we again performed at the Mercury Theatre, very famous theatre, where T.S. Eliot and Christopher Fye had premiered their verse dramas. So that is what I call a fairy tale. Okay. There we were suddenly transported all over Europe and praised to the skies and life in theatre had in fact started. Then how did uh, Solo Ramayana came into existence? Well, how it came into existence was, there we were performing in the Mercury Theatre okay. and getting a rave review in the newspaper in the Times. And at that time, the Royal Shakespeare Company had a World uh, Theatre Festival every year, which was uh, considered the really the highest festival of theatre at the time and they invited us to come and meet them and the director, someone called Peter Dorbley, said would you like, we would like you to come, what play would you like to bring of yours? And Gopal said, well there is a play I very much would like to bring but I haven't written it. So they said, oh you haven't written it but what is it? So he said, it is the epic, the Ramayana. Okay. Because there are so many contradictions in it. Yes. People criticize Ram saying, oh, he threw out Sita, oh, he yes, did this, yes, oh, he yes. did that. But on the other hand, they seem to still worship him. So how do we, how do we uh, relate these, these contradictions? And so the director, Peter Domini, said, well, that's all right. Give me a synopsis of what you do. Of course, I know the Ramayana is the great epic. So we'll, do that. we'll go on that, what you describe in your synopsis. And so we were contracted to perform, to play, to create the play, the Ramayana, for the Royal Shakespeare Company's World Theatre season. 
Okay. You play all the characters yourself. At any point did you, uh, you and uh, Sharman sir had the idea to bring other actors also? Or, um... In fact, the play was written for other actors. Okay. It was not written for me One. to do as a personal okay. uh, to of force. But what happened was that the other actors, I think it was really a sabotage because people were very jealous that we, sort of an un unknown uh, couple, not the big sort of uh, okay. actors okay. known in Delhi and so on, had been invited for this. And the actors turned around and told us, the actors whom we had uh, hired, that either you give us uh, tickets to uh, in England right away and uh, a large amount of money or we are not coming. So we thought, well, uh, they have, our dream has collapsed. And we drove up to Simla to pick up uh, Anasuya, who is the mother of our Yasna, who I think you already met, and who is at that time our daughter, who was only 11 or 12. And we, she'd been saying, I can't bear it, I don't want to stay in, this is a boarding school, it's horrible, I hate it, and so on. So we drove up to Simla to pick her up. And when we were coming back in the journey, Gopal said, listen, forget the other actors. Just forget them. You do it alone. And I said, how can I do it alone? Yes. I was only supposed to be playing the part of Sita. So I said, no, 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 no. You do it all. You were tra tra training these other actors how to play their parts. Well, you play their parts. And that is how I came to do it alone. Okay. As an actor, I myself find it very difficult to memorize two or three pages if I have to. But you have memorized the whole play. Did you find it difficult? Did you, uh, and did you have the fear that I might forget any line of on course. stage? Of course I did. Uh, uh, yes, of course it was very difficult. Memorization is the drudgery of acting. Okay. It's a tough, hard boring work of acting okay. to memorize yeah. and of course it was a thing and of course yes here and sometimes and often enough I did make mistakes but you see at the beginning of each performance of the Ramayana I do a prostration yes. before Shriya, the statue of Shriya and I pray in my mind please help me to not forget anything and at the end of it again I do an arthi and I again do a prostration and I pray to him, please, whatever I may have made so many mistakes and this and that, of which I'm aware, please in the audience's mind, let them not hinder the understanding of the beauty of this play and the beauty of worshipping you. And that is how I go through it. Ma'am, you are an excellent actor, but at what point at what point you realize that we should start acting classes also? How uh, Akshara Theatre came into existence? Akshara Theatre came into existence because when we got the contract to do this thing for the Royal Shakespeare Company, I came back to India in advance because it was going to be Anasuya's birthday. Uh, at that point, I came back alone. Gopal was still writing a, a book he had been commissioned in London. And I had to meet Moradi Desai, and who was the Deputy Prime Minister at the time. And he said, well, uh, how are you handling this performance, this play of the Ramayana? And I gave him this uh, preface which Gopal had written, which we'd written for the Royal uh, Shakespeare Company. And he said, well, that's very really wonderful. I think it's a very really wonderful take on the Ramayana. And you say you want a place to live and rehearse. And so here there's a choice of six places and select what you want. And that is how we got, at that point, half the action. It was a semi-detached bunker. We got half the action for working, and working on this play, the Ramayana. Later on, we uh, were allotted the whole one, okay. and which now we've created like this. And how did and why did uh, 
we start acting classes because we wanted to have actors. Yes. We wanted to train actors yes. and make actors now that we needed had a theatre and we needed to perform in it. Okay. Running Akshara Theatre at any point was challenging. Thank you, Running Akshara Theatre at any point was challenging. Has it ever stopped being challenging? Okay. Running an institution, an artistic institution, with no money, with no funds, okay. not to, you know, with uh, uh, Sri Ram uh, Industries behind you or anything like that. Of course it's challenging. How do you manage? Where do you find the money from? Okay. Very difficult. Okay. I want to ask one thing. Uh, do you see any difference in acting of older times and contemporary times? Well, acting has become more acceptable as a profession, particularly to the parents of people who, young people who want to take up acting. And they do see that, yes, there is a chance for them to earn money, particularly in television. The parents now do believe that there is a possibility that their children, by learning how to act, can earn a living, particularly through television. And that has made them, in a sense, more serious and more determined to become professional actors. And therefore, they do, I think, work harder and try to understand what to do. Ma'am, do you feel that actors today uh, are more money-oriented than the older ones? I think the whole world is more money-oriented. Any acting tips would you like to give to new actors? You know, actors often think that acting is all about speaking and declaiming from the stage, making grand speeches. But actually, it's a, so much is also there in body movement, in uh, how do you express your feelings through the way you move your body. How do you express the feelings with the different inflections you give in your voice? Your voice which will go up and down. That is why you mentioned earlier that your father, Sir Gopal Sherman, used to be annoyed with you because you couldn't do this simple thing, Sare Gama Patani Sa. And, but you need to know that because if you don't know it, how do you transform your voice to act? So there you have body language. You have, for which body language, what do you need? You have to learn gymnastics. You have to be able to cartwheel, to somersault, to move in this way and that way, to lie flat, you need yoga. You need all these things. You need to be able to breathe properly. Breathing is very important. Now all these things combinedly go into making an act. And this is what people have to learn. Thank you so much, ma'am, for coming on my show. I'm really honored to have you here. I'm really honored. Thank you, Vanita. That's really sweet of you to say that. Now we are in Akshara ke main performance auditorium, where the actors perform. With me, there are some students. Check it out. Introduction, please. I'm Vipul. I'm connected to Akshara for the last three months. और मैं अपने आप को काफी लकी समझता हूँ कि इतने पारंगत कलाकारों से मुझे एक्टिंग सीखने का मौका मिल रहा है जी। मेरा नाम है उदित महेश्वरी। बेसिकली मैं इंजीनियर हूँ, सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर। बट छह से सात महीने पहले मैंने अक्षरा थिएटर ज्वाइन किया था, क्योंकि मेरी शुरू से चाह थी कि मैं एक एक्टर बन जुड़ा हुआ जहाँ पर हमने काफी कुछ नए किए सीखी है जैसे योगा जिम्नास्टिक्स एक्सप्रेशन वॉइस मॉडुलेशन और जैसे बेसिकली मैं एक मार्केटिंग एग्जीक्यूटिव अमेजोन में बड़े क्वेश्चन फॉलो कर रहा था और अक्सर से 
वेदर कोई थिएटर हो नहीं सकता दिल्ली में बिकॉज इससे क्लासिकल थिएटर और बहुत कुछ देखने सीखने को मिलती है काफी पुराने एक्टर्स काम कर रहे हैं इनसे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिलता है हेलो मेरा नाम है वरुण नक्कल और मैं अक्षरा थिएटर से पिछले डेढ़ साल से जुड़ा हुआ हूँ और अक्षरा थिएटर मेरी लाइफ का पहला थिएटर जो मैंने ज्वाइन किया था और मुझे यहाँ से बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला है सो आई एम वेरी लकी टू बी ए पार्ट ऑफ इट मेरा नाम यशना है और मैं अभी एक स्टूडेंट हूँ और मैं एक्टिंग पिछले ग्यारह या बारह साल से कर रही हूँ और मेरे नानी नाना जला बला वैद्य और गोपाल शर्मा हैं और उन्होंने मुझे सब कुछ सिखाया है म्यूजिक डांस थिएटर सो आई एम वेरी लकी कि उन्होंने मुझे सब कुछ सिखाया है अब हम एक्टर्स के बीच में हैं तो एक छोटी सी परफॉर्मेंस हो जाए